Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. We have two areas that we're watching. We have Hurricane Lee, which is rapidly intensifying, and we now have newly formed tropical depression number 14. That was that Invest 96 that we've been talking about for a couple of days. Right now, here's the first advisory on that TD 14. We're not going to focus a whole lot on this because it's not heading anywhere. It's going to head out over open waters. Right now, it's out. winds are at 35 miles an hour. This is expected to become a tropical storm and eventually a hurricane. Next name on the list is Margo, but you see where it's going. Basically heading to the north out over open waters of the Atlantic Ocean. But here is that high resolution visible satellite imagery. What you're looking at is imagery that's taken every single minute. So you can really see the detail of these thunderstorms wrapping around the center. You can see that eye clearing out. This is a rapidly intensifying hurricane. Yesterday at this time, this had winds of 70 miles an hour. Now we're talking about 105 miles an hour. This is a category two hurricane right now, and it is going to continue to intensify. Reason why? Well, we've been talking about this. We've got extremely warm waters across the Atlantic. Some of these water temperatures are about the highest we've ever seen across this portion of the Atlantic. And then we have that low wind shear. The environment is really becoming conducive. Yesterday we had some of that light north and northeasterly wind shear. That is starting to go away. You could see that because you're seeing more of that fanning effect all around the system. That is that outflow in the upper levels of the atmosphere. It is able to vent itself and you get that fanning effect of the cloud. So right now it is at 105 miles an hour. It's moving to the west northwest at 15 miles an hour. Look at this forecast track. Uh, we don't talk about this too often where we are talking about a category five hurricane as we head into the end of the week. Now what you're going to start to see happen over the next several days is it is hard to maintain that category five or really uh, any major hurricane status. Uh, what, what will happen is that eye will start to contract and you start to get these eye wall replacement cycles. And so you're going to start to see that intensity fluctuating. That is why you're really starting to see kind of back and forth on some of these wind speeds. And the other thing that you notice is as this goes along, you start to see these coming closer together as far as those points. That is an indication for time, this storm will start to slow down a little bit because it's moving along pretty well right now uh, to the west northwest at 15 miles an hour. And the reason why is right now the steering currents are strong. We've got the ridge to the north, which is really helping to push this along as that starts to weaken and it gets onto that, say, western edge of this. And before that trough is coming down to pick this system up, that's where the steering currents start to become a little more weak. Now, when you don't have those really strong uh, steering currents, that's also where the confidence starts to go down. So as you look at the European ensembles, you see in the beginning part of this, everything is really tightly clustered. Very good confidence in that forecast track in the short term. And, and the reason why is because the steering currents are so strong it's pretty easy to figure that part of the forecast out. But then as we get into that area where the steering currents weaken, it starts to turn to the north. You start to see a bit more in the spread of all the various components of the model, the ensembles, where we're looking at all the various possibilities that the European is predicting. So we're talking about a large area. It can be really anywhere within this area. The one thing we're still looking at is it does stay. The for forecast keeps it off the east coast. We want to keep it as far as we can off the east coast. Of course, you have Bermuda in here as well, so they obviously have to watch this very closely and along the Bahamas watching this large swells causing some issues across many of these islands and even along our coastline that will be an issue. So we're looking at the European, the GFS and our own exclusive Fox model and they're basically very tightly packed right on top of each other through that short term period through Saturday evening. This is the point where we start to see that possibility of it slowing down. So the European and the GFS slow it down a little bit more. The Fox model not slowing it down as much. So that could in turn lead to this getting a bit closer 
to our east coast as we head through the weekend and into next week. So we're going to watch this very closely. All indications are still that it makes that turn. But where does it make that turn? How close does it get to our east coast and what kind of effects will we get? Still too early to really clearly tell you exactly what the effects will be along our east coast of the US, but we'll keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.